The Nigerian Senate on Wednesday called on all the chairs of government to comply with judgment of the Supreme Court in local government autonomy. Also, the lawmakers also declared a readiness to tinker with the necessary sections of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to birth the autonomy of local councils in the country. Correspondent Kolojo completes the story. The decision of the Red Chamber was sequel to a motion by Senator Tony Nwoye on the floor of the Senate. Senator Nwoye threw orders 41 and 51 of the Senate rules while presenting a motion alleged plans by some state government to avoid execution of the judgment of the Supreme Court on autonomy of local government financing. According to Senator Nwoye, the state houses of assembly were attempting to enact alternative laws for their respective states. Other senators who spoke in support of the motion said it was timely as Nigerians are yearning for a change in local government administration in the country. To prevent and stop the imposition of action of state governments using their state house of assemblies to enact laws that breach constitutional provisions as well as the Supreme Court judgment of 11th of July 2024 that granted financial autonomy to our local governments in line with the provisions of the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I want to support this motion by urging the Senate that if there is nothing this 10th Senate will achieve, it is this local government autonomy. I recall in Kano two weeks ago where we had the retreat of Constitutional Review led by the Deputy Senate President. This issue of local government autonomy was one of the major issues that we discussed. I raise the point of order simply because the Supreme Court judgment which a uh, distinguished senator uh, Tony Ray uh, referred to is a Supreme Court pronouncement. It's a decision of the court and it must be enforced by all persons and authorities in Nigeria. The point of order raised by Senator Adamu Island on the motion forced the Senate into an executive session. Speaking after the executive session, the Senate President Goswi Apabio said the Senate is fully in support of the Supreme Court judgment on granting financial autonomy to the 774 local governments in Nigeria. And so we have uh, deliberated on it. Uh, we have um, uh, come to uh, the reasonable position that the Supreme Court of Nigeria uh, is the final court of the land and that they cannot make a, um, a pronouncement that will not be uh, uh, enforced. So in other words, the Nigerian Senate stands solidly behind the Supreme Court decision. The Senate thereafter approved two prayers out of the six prayers advanced by Senator Nwoye in his motion. It consequently urged all state and local governments to fully comply to the recent Supreme Court judgment on the disbursement and utilization of funds accrued to all local governments in Nigeria. The Senate also pledged to ensure alteration to relevant provisions of the Constitution to provide full autonomy to local governments in Nigeria. We believe strongly that if there is any legacy that this administration will leave behind, including the 10th Senate, it is a legacy of sanitizing the local governments, ensuring that local government funds are well utilized for the benefit of the rural people, and at the same time, local governments are allowed to function and function well. That will also, in due course, include the elections. It will be recalled that early August 2024, the Supreme Court barred all 36 governors from retaining or utilizing funds allocated for the 774 local government areas across the country. The court ruled that it was illegal and unconstitutional for governors to continue to receive and seize funds meant for local government in their states. From the upper chamber of the National Assembly, Kunle Ujo, Galaxy TV.